Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a really cool and effective no mythic team you can use for this world event. Dark Portents. First things first, always grab your rewards from the reward section. The reason is, this is a guild based event, and it basically means that your guild may have started, other players may have started doing these before you, and you can get the badges and medals absolutely straight away. There we go, we've got Badge of the South immediately, so we're going to get some nice damage boost there. And grab yourself a tier 1 from the shop, a mere 30 gems, totally worth it. This is going to last you all week, because this is a week-long event. You get the Potion of Enchantment, which means all your troops will start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for the entirety of this event. And you can grab some other stuff as well, some event sigils, souls, shards, and more. And obviously grab as many tiers as you require to go in this event. A lot of fun, I do like the world events. Right, let's uh, crack on with the scoring system. There are six battles you can encounter during this event, which are Grave Knight, Knight Hag, Nosferatu, the Ghost Queen, Keeper of Souls, and Zathanos. The first five battles are chosen randomly, and they all have an equal chance of appearing on the map. The battle against Zathanos will only appear after you win four of the other battles. However, this battle will not hang around. You have to fight him absolutely straight away, otherwise he vanishes. After that, the battle was reset, and you'll need to fight another four to, to spawn uh, Zathanos again. You earn undead remnants in this. Each undead remnant is worth five points. And I'll just simplify the scoring system to show you how many points you get per battle on the screen. That's straightforward. Let's um, crack on with the team and have a look. Right, so we'll fight the Ghost Queen. No, we won't. We'll fight the Keeper of Souls straight away. He's worth the most points. So the team i got here... Shield of Gaia, two times Roran, King Oberon. I'll show an alternative if you don't have two Rorans or you're just a little bit fed up with using Roran all the time. But um, she is mega, mega effective in these kind of teams. So that is kind of the idea of these videos to show the most effective team. But I will show an alternative. The idea of this team is that King Oberon gives all the Fey allies a 50% start with mana. We give life and five magic to all allies, then create a firestorm and enchant all fey allies. So the key to this is basically getting enchanted again across um, our main damage dealer troops from Anne. King Oberon will create a firestorm that is red. It means he can get charged up again and give even more life. Makes the team very, very tanky and sustainable, especially with the shield versus Gaia here. This gives an ally magic plus one armor boosted by all enemy attack then enrages and barriers them. So you can cast this onto Rowan, who does damage based on her armor. Her armor gets boosted by the Shield of Eskaya, and she does massive damage, obliterating the enemy. You can um, have two of them, if you like. And a really easy team to use. If you don't have Rowan or the Shield of Eskaya, there are alternative ways to go. There's a really cool troop on Nelly. Went with the Fox Fire King. Absolutely fantastic. Choose one spell, deal magic plus one, a true damage to all enemies, or true damage to the weakest enemy, boosted by red gems and spirit gems. So, very, very good indeed, and as that awesome third trait, 50% chance to inflict fairy fire on a random enemy when matching red gems. It's a fey as well, so we'll still benefit from that 50% mana start. You can have two of them instead of two, Rowan if you like, but in that case, if you're going to have that, I would change... Uh, that troop to Eruption of Roses. Very, very good indeed. Explode Magic plus one Green Gems. Grant a random status effect to all phase and has a summon as well. So I'd maybe stick King Ober into the top. If you're going to go that route with Eruption of Roses and the Fox Viking, I would put King Ober on to the top. Then Fox Viking, Fox Viking, and have your Eruption of Roses at the bottom maybe, or maybe in second place. Right, so um, that is the way I'd go about that. But with this team, the banner is going to be plus two green, plus one red, minus one purple maze banner. And we're going to go in a Geomancer class for this. Like Herophant, for example, is a uh, Fey class. But um, I really like Geomancer for this. The traits are good. Starts, uh, can, can, starts with 50% mana. Reduced damage from scars by 50% is really, really cool. But the talent trees really help it out as well. Serendipity is great. Anti-magic fear is great. We don't need mana source because we get a 50% start anyway. Gain three magic at the start is really good if you're a newer player. Rock solid, we get a barrier when matching brown gems, which we'll be doing with this team. 
stone mastery is great because what that means is with that 50 percent mana start and the weapon requiring 14 mana if you get a mana surge on brown with that extra one brown it means your weapon is ready to go absolutely straight away if your mana surge chances are low because you're a newer player you may want to chick uh, pick chick tree of knowledge which basically gives you enchantment matching green gems which you will be doing because we use rowan and fortitude to finish off so as simple as that let's dive in and do a couple of battles and i'll jump forward a little bit and then do some on the higher levels when it says this we don't each have an event medal for this battle but it isn't equipped would you like to equip it now always say yes because you do want to do that i'm going to put it in the middle because i like things to look tidy and while i'm at it there you go spell damage for this event because we've got roman you want the medal of guard plus eight armor for all troops this basically goes on roman and gives her a little but could be effective armor boost so absolutely do that all right let's dive in then let's have a couple of punch ups in the woods all right so we don't need much at all we're enchanted we've got 50 percent start roran's ready to go scatter damage boosted by her armor the boost for me is plus 264 that will be based on your magic but point is early stages of the game it's going to be an absolute walkover ghost queen is next let's grab her not literally doesn't look fantastic to me just to be honest there we go Rowan everybody's dead one shot everyone Nosferatu or Night Hag Nosferatu is the highest scoring one here so we'll go for that need a little visit to the dentist I would suggest let's give the second Rowan a bit of action she's sitting there doing nothing Right, so again, Nosferatu. Everyone's worth different points in this, so there is a very specific order you need to do the the troops in. Uh, blue, enchant means we're ready next round. Thank you very much. Bye bye. On your bikes, skateboards, roller skates, pogo sticks, unicycles, whatever you've got. I don't care. Zathanos, see when he appears you have to fight him absolutely straight away. If you don't fight him straight away, he's gonna disappear and you're gonna miss out on a bunch of points. So fight that mouldy onion bargy, whatever he is, straight away. I don't know what he is. It's not good, is it? It looks a bit manky. Looks like he fell off the manky tree and hit every branch on the way down and landed in a festering cabbage patch of mouldy hamsters. What? All right, I bought a tier two and I've jumped forward a little bit, but it's still mega straightforward. It's gonna be with this team. I haven't actually had to cast my shield of a sky yet at all. My two Rowans have been just doing the business on their own. Um, but if you don't have um, as much power as me, basically you may have to cast the shield of a sky first to get the boost. But look, like I say my two are just doing an absolute job on them. Like the first Rowan done the job on her own. But all you gotta do is, I'll go to the higher level one is uh, cast the Shield of Sky first onto Rowan if you want to get a massive, massive boost. I'll do it in this one anyway, just to show how it works. Like at the moment, my Rowan has a boost of 264. But if we concentrate on getting the Shield of Sky up, we'll cast it onto our Rowan and have a look at the boost now. It's 570. Absolutely ridiculous it's going to be an absolute walk in the park with this because you get a shield as well a barrier on the troop you to cast on as well as a barrier on yourself which makes you even more tanky and predictable predictable protectable yes protectable is that a word it is now but anyway that's the way you do it it's very very straightforward and um, just to keep casting your overall ends cast a shield if you need it Look, uh, if you've got them both back to back and they're powerful enough, they're just with, with, oh, with the power of Roran, her power anyway, with the shield of her sky and the boost from the token badge or medal, it's just going to be insane. Going to absolutely walk all over the enemy. Like you can do that straight away if you like, because it's just a little tiny bit quicker can cast this if you like if you want extra life and magic 
don't actually need it because we're going to get powered up next round anyway. 518 is a boost. We still had the second Rowan in reserve. We still had the Shield of Urskaya sitting there waiting to cast to give us an even bigger boost. And we still had King Oberface sitting there waiting to uh, give us life and enchant and be ready to do it all over again. So it's a super easy team. This is going to be an absolute walk in the park, this one. No shadow of a doubt at all. Let's grab ourselves some of that. Should have done it the other way around. So we've got the skull hit, but it doesn't matter because everybody's going to be dead. Right, let's just do Zathanos and we'll call the video a day. Video, you a day! Yeah, you didn't think I was going to say it, did you? Ah! Well, I did. Right, anyway, the enemy is more powered up. We'll be patient and we'll get our shield powered up. The boost is 264 right now. Let's make sure they're all going to be dead, but they would anyway, because basically we've got the second Rowan waiting, but 518 is the boost. Everybody's dead. Get the heck out of here. Well, there's a video. I'll be back later on showing my epic trials strategy and team order for the epic trials in Bright Forest. If you haven't checked out the Soul Forge video I've done earlier, maybe take a butcher's at that as well, because there's some amazing stuff in the Soul Forge this week. Really, really good. But there's this video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful, helpful, any of that kind of jazz, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.